Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, the Dutch artist, and I got some more questions about Toon Squid. And in this video, I'm just going to answer some of these questions. The first question is by Bobby Cannon, 3571. Do you know how to export an animation with a transparent background? I referenced the handbook and it says to use MOV with transparency, but it doesn't work. Always left with a white background, thanks. Well, I tried to uh, export it. Uh, this is just a scene I made uh, of a painting of Ivan Earl. And I did an animation with uh, a little butterfly. So go to Actions, Export. And then you can choose Video. And then MOV. And I also tried that. And the way it should work is to include the codec, include transparency. And when you then export it, it should work, but it doesn't work. And this is not a good sample. So I'm just going to uh, select this animation with a transparent background. So go to export, video, MOV, and include and do the current clip. So it has a transparent background. When I now export it, you can save it to files. And I'm just going to save it in ToonSquid folder. Save. Replace it because I already tested it out. And when you go to your folder, it's on my iPad, ToonSquid, and here is the folder. You can see that it has a black background, but when I import it, it imports it with uh, the black background. And you don't want that, you want a transparent background. A way to um, export such a a movie clip is to go to and then you have no sound but then choose image sequence and then choose a PNG and then you can export it save it to files and now when you look in the in the folder can see that it made a zip file and in the zip file you have all the individu individual frames with a transparent background you can't see it here but this is the only way it works and um, I'm just gonna ask on the forum if he can change it that you can export it as a MOV that's a QuickTime file with a transparent background the next question is by Nameless Jones 8178. And the question is about how you can select multiple frames or multiple layers in ToonSquid. Just go to ToonSquid and choose a timeline. Here you have a timeline with different folders. And what you can do uh, is uh, a little technique, it's tap slide. So you have to tap and slide and do it very quick to tap slide, tap slide. And then you can select multiple frames. So tap slide. And now you have a blue or a greenish selection tool so you can select more frames or more uh, layers. And when you double tap, you deselect. You can also use it for uh, selecting uh, the keyframes. So, so you have to go up here. And then you can select multiple keyframes and then copy them and paste them. Another question is uh, about 
is there a way to get the symbols to appear on all the new projects so I don't have to keep making it? You can export a file, just going to open this file which has uh, some background and also a camera movement and a movie clip of the butterfly and also the foreground and the background. What you can do is go to Actions, tap on Export and then choose Project and then you can uh, export the project. And I'm gonna save it to Files, in Squid, Save and then it's exported. I'm just going to open up a new project, which is 9020 by 1080, create and go to the library and then press on the plus, import from photos and I have to go to import from files. And now I'm in the Toonsquid folder and I just saved it as the Ivent TS project and that's the, the extension of Toonsquid. And then press on open and then you can choose which um, asset you want to import into the project. So press on select if you want to select them all and then press on done and now when you go to the library you can import the symbols and also the background and if you have sound to it the sound will also be exported and you can import the sound to uh, into a new project in Toonsquid. I've made a video about uh, that you can draw with the edit shape tool. So when you draw a square, you can choose and edit uh, the shapes. And someone asks if you can turn it off. You can turn this off because sometimes it's a bit of a nuisance. You know, if you draw slowly, then it will pop up to uh, a similar shape. And it can be quite handy, you know, if you just want to uh, work with uh, basic shapes. But if you're sketching, it can be quite a nuisance. So what you can do is go to Actions, press on Settings and go to Gestures and there's Shape Assist. You can turn it off by toggle off this button. And now when you go back and try to draw something again, it doesn't snap to the shape assist. So these are some of uh, the answers to the questions I had. Uh, if you want me to do more videos about uh, Toon Squid, please let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.